bad pop here <laughs> and if you came here for some light-hearted humor <laughs> i got some bad news for you <laughs> winning a few episodes back i let slip a story a little incident i had with a woman who shall remain nameless i was going to bang this chick we got to the pop in her top and she had one tit it totally f***ed everything up i was like oh ah! I banged a chick with one leg once. That was kind of cool. I'm going to be explaining the story about that and the pandemonium that ensued. <laughs> Hopefully she doesn't shoot me or blow my car up. But hey, <laughs> let us begin. <laughs> yeah! I hope you guys like this. It's a true story. All right, a little history on this whole thing. Older woman, had older kids. She went in to get a tune-up. Well, the girls used to be able to do this. As they get older, they're doing this. Kind of look like two squirrels fighting in a gunny sack, if you know what I mean. And we totally appreciate it when they go get it tuned up to bring them back to here. She developed a MRSA infection in one of them. I don't want to go into a lot of detail, but basically... <whistles> and they saved her nipple by sewing it to, you guessed it, her inner thigh. If I blow on that nipple, does that nipple get hard up here? And she's like... Yes, I was like, oh my God, how can that? Frankenstein at its best, I'll tell you. That might have been pretty interesting if things had uh, progressed. Because <laughs> I'm not going to say I didn't think about it. They had to wait a certain amount of time to make sure that the, the MRSA was all gone before they could go back and rebuild or whatever they were going to do. This happened like several years ago and I met this woman online. We're on seven dates. Finally, you know, things start getting heat it up and go back to her place winning imagine if you will you're moving your hand around you know you're working the thing and and then you hear the boom an uncomfortable thump of a gelatinous artificial breast hitting the floor in the dark and then you see it and you're like oh ah! one of these two things is not like the other on the flip side if a woman hears that uh, uncomfortable slap on the floor <laughs> <laughs> Third leg willy. There was absolutely no warning given because I couldn't tell from prior that it was a prosthetic. I bought it hook, line, and sinker. Whoever built that knew what they were doing because it, it fooled me. Good job winning. You know, maybe I should get a thermal scope so I can look them up and down because then I would have been able to see that like right off the bat. <laughs> All right, so on the shock factor level, say a one, you go over to their house and it's kind of messy. It's a one. In the grand scheme of things, it's not a big deal. Shock factor 10, you go to her house and uh, you find out that her has some twigs and berries. That's like a 10. I've never, I've never had a 10, but total shock factor. This was a nine. And mainly because there was no warning given. <laughs> no. Well, once that happened, everything pretty much came to a screeching halt. It's like, Arr! You know, this whole awkward moment's going on. There's some questions that I asked that really probably should earn me a gigantic ass kicking. Zero compassion. I said, hey, can't they take that one perfect D titty and move it in the middle? <laughs> and that thought did cross my mind that perhaps maybe she could have three put on there and be that chick from Total Recall. I said, you know, so when they rebuild the other one, are they going to take the fed out of your ass and move it up here? And then yeah. inquiring minds want to know. You know, you have that one perfect D cup. Can they just divide it in half and make it two C cups? All right, gentlemen, it's not one of my prouder moments, but uh, after I'd ask all those uncomfortable questions, did she want me to flip her over and carry on? <laughs> Going to hell! Oh, obviously... <laughs> The mood was totally dead by then, because by about this time she had thrown beer on me and, and invited me to leave the house. I literally got <laughs> boom and beard, <laughs> winning, all over my face, down my shirt, <laughs> and almost kicked me in the butt as I left. So, you know, while I'm stumbling for the door, putting my shoes on, I said, why don't you just get the other one removed and then you could be like a Thai hooker or a bodybuilder or... I don't know, a gymnast. That was our last date, <laughs> but it was not the last time I saw this woman. About a year ago, I ran into her with her new boyfriend shopping at the local Myers. Her cart was blocking the tuna fish I wanted. So I had to look at her and go, ma'am, could you please move your cart <laughs> so I could get at the tuna fish? 
<laughs> the look on her face, absolutely priceless. And if you think about it, this whole thing was a giant metaphor. Because <laughs> the cart <laughs> was that one titty. <laughs> and the tuna, the Bermuda Triangle. <laughs> and I had to move it aside to get to the tuna. And I'm sure she's going to see this episode and just hate my absolute guts. <laughs> with, with the seething hatred of a white hot sun. What can I say? Should have gave me some warning, baby. Should have gave me some warning. <laughs> like any good DJ, I take requests. Like always, this is where we whore ourselves out. Please check out our patron page. And if you have two nickels to rub together, send them our way so we can keep this going. As usual, everyone, please hit the subscribe button. Because <laughs> if you do, I just might flip you over. <laughs> and... <laughs> I just went over nine homo suspicion points. <laughs>